Shalom, 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 man. Israel giving all praise to Yahweh. Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Achakadash. The morning of today, this is UMS Ruwa. Salutations to Akim out there, pushing his word and truth, his city, risking freedom in your life to do so. Uh, more so now than ever before because, um, you know, persecution is going to rise against us, man. Um, you know, there's, there's slanders that's going on in Israel. Um, you know, against the One West Doctrine, you know, specifically GMS, because according to, you know, the world and other camps, we, we, we say outlandish, heinous things, okay? But everything we say can be proven out of the scriptures, man, um, which actually took place in the scriptures, happened in the scriptures, and, um, you know, the laws pertaining to those situations. But um, you got guys like Nate and IUIC that, um, their whole goal is to slander us and deter members of their camp from actually joining the truth, okay? And this is not our words. Again, we repeat, we don't speak of our words. We don't speak of our heart. We come straight out of the Bible, all right? We don't mix and mingle anything. Yes, certain things, um, it's tough to swallow. A lot of things, a lot of things in the book is, 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 is hard to swallow. It's hard to hear. It's hard to comprehend. It's hard to digest, man. All right? It's a lot of things that just is hard to stomach. But nevertheless, the truth, like the old saying goes, um, truth is stranger than fiction. Or the truth is the hardest pill to swallow, you see? So this is just one of those situations. It's hard to swallow. And the topic of hand up to date is the 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 Greek doctrine, okay, which is the, the rape doctrine, all right? We, again, at GMS, we don't advocate for raping. We're not for it, not in this society. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not condoning it. Anybody, everybody, anybody that's doing that, GMS or otherwise, not a GMS, don't matter who you are. If you're doing that, um, you should be punished to the full extent of, of, of Esau's law. Because you know you're not supposed to be doing that. You shouldn't be doing that. With that being said, we're gonna give. I'm gonna go straight into the scriptures, proving further of situations that happened in Israel, and the Most High was okay with it. All right. So this is in Deuteronomy 22. Uh, was 28, and um, a couple a couple verses before, it pretty much tells you you know a law when you know man. They grab a woman and took her by force. What would happen to him if she was um, if she was if she was betrothed, meaning engaged, or she was married? If she didn't cry out, that means she wanted it. She'd be stoned. Him, him, and in a woman because that was adultery. Or vice versa, if she screamed and he took it anyway, he'd be stoned and killed. You see, but. The condemnation wasn't on the act itself. It was the fact that she was married. So you got to read with the context, okay? Get context clues, man. You silly, stupid uh, Negroes don't read. I don't understand. I don't comprehend the context of what the situation is talking about. So this is Deuteronomy 22, verse 28. If a man find a damsel, which is a young woman, that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, meaning she's not engaged, and lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found. So I want to, this is the blue letter Bible. And this is to get the, the further, deeper understanding of words. So we're going to get lay hold. What does it mean to lay hold? Uh, show, outline, and Bible uses. To catch, handle, laid hold, take hold of, see, this is see, will. To lay hold, seize, arrest, catch. Uh, uh, B, it says to be seized, be arrested, be caught, be taken, captured. All right? So, obviously, it's clearly telling you that when you lay hold on her, they're arresting her, okay? Now, you know how it is when uh, when the cops pull you over and they say, get out the car, we're taking you under arrest. They take you by force. You have no, you have, you can't say no. You see what I'm saying? And it's the same context when it says to lay hold on her. Uh, lay hold on her. So you're taking her by force. 
lying with her and they be found. So what is what is rape mean? Uh, non consensual sex of one person. Alright? So the woman's like, no, but you take it anyway. That's 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 rape, you see? So Deuteronomy twenty two to twenty eight, which is but Moses came down to Israel on Mount Sinai and gave him these laws. If a man found the damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, meaning she's not engaged, she doesn't have a husband, and lay hold on her and lie with her, and they be found. Uh, verse 20, verse 20, 29. Then the man that lay with her show, uh oh, uh oh, listen to this, listen to this. Then the man that laid with her so that man that took this woman by force and had sex with her and it was found that that's what he did he shall give unto the damsel's father meaning the daughter the daughter's father 50 shackles of silver wait hold up so why didn't it say kill this man why the scripture didn't say stay to kill this man after he done took this woman by force. Why didn't he say arrest this man? Why didn't he say put him in jail? Why didn't he say take him to the to the to the gates of Israel, stone him in front of the congregation? Why didn't he take why didn't he say that? Why did in verse twenty nine it said, Then a man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel for the fifty seconds of silver? That's implying that's a dowry. That's implying you're you're you've married this woman because we know according to Israel's tradition that when when you when you engage in a woman to marry her, you have to give a dowry. So essentially, verse twenty nine is saying, look, though you had sex with this woman, now you got to pay the father because she's gonna be your wife, and she shall be his wife. Look, 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 boom, clear as day. And she, come on, man, stop following these clowns, man. And she shall be his wife because he have humbled her. He may not put her away all his days. Now, the wickedness comes when this man takes this woman by force. And he doesn't marry this woman. He just has sex with her. He kicks her. He, 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 he tosses her to the side. That's the wickedness. To have sex and just skate and disappear. Or put her off. That's when the wickedness comes in. That's when the abomination comes in. Because you caused her to be a whore. You slept with this woman, you took her by force. Alright? But not no way in verse 29 did it say stone this man. It said you give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. So where is this? See how you are seeing them guys, man. They 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 play on your emotions, they pulling your heartstrings to to for some reason to convince you to give more money to the to the congregation. And just and just cover your eyes, man, with lies, man, because just, I know it's a heavy pill to swallow, but this is in the truth, and it's, and it's the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, Bashem Chakadash, that Elder Tahar brought it, brought it out, man, because that was gonna, that was gonna really rattle the fence. It was gonna shake a lot of people, man. And those that had eyes to see understood clearly what he said, man. But some people were offended, and as a result, man, that was a big stumbling block. You see? That was a big stumbling block from the people. It's like, um, another example, judges. Um, judges, this is a, this is a situation when um the the nation of Israel went to war with Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, and damn near wiped them out. Um, and it says, uh, I start at fifteen, Judges twenty one verse fifteen, and the people repented them for Benjamin because that the Lord had made a breach in the tribe of Israel, right? Because they damn near almost wiped out the tribe of Benjamin, which tribe I'm from, the so-called West Indians of today. And it says, uh, then the elders of the congregation said, how how shall we do for wives for them that remain, seeing the women are destroyed out of Benjamin? Verse 17, and they said, there must be inheritance for them that be escaped of Benjamin that a tribe be not destroyed out of Israel. Howbeit, we may not give them wives of our daughters, meaning of the other tribes. For the children of Israel have sworn, saying, Cursed be he that giveth wife to Benjamin. Then they said, Behold, there is a feast of the Lord in Shiloh yearly, in a place which is on the north side of Bethel, and on the east side of the highway that goeth up from Bethel to Shechem. 
of Shittim and their self of Lebanon. Uh, therefore, they commanded the children of Benjamin, saying, Go, lie, and wait in the vineyards, meaning go and hide in the vineyards, all right, in the grass. And see, and behold, if the daughters of Shiloh come out to dance and dances, then come out, come. So these are the elders of Israel telling men of Benjamin to wait in the vineyards, in the grass, and the crops, Wait for the daughters of Shiloh to come out and dance. Come ye out of the vineyard and catch you, catch you, every man his wife of the daughters of Shiloh and go into the land of Benjamin. So when they catch them, they ain't going out there to dance with them, man. They going out there to, to take them so they could be their wives. And wife meaning they going to screw them. They going to pop them. You see? And verse 22, and it should be when their fathers or their brethren come up, come unto us to complain that we will say unto them, be favorable unto them for our sakes, because we reserve not to each man his wife in this war. For ye do not give unto them at this time that ye should be guilty. And the children of Benjamin did so and took them wives according to their number and of them that danced whom they caught and they will return unto their inheritance, inheritance and repaired the cities and dwelt in them. And the children of Israel departed thence at that time, every man of his tribe and his family, and they went out from thence, every man to his inheritance. You see? So not in one scripture did they say, oh, the Most High destroyed Benjamin for, for doing a wicked act of catching these women and taking them to be wives. No, man, because the Most High, Yahweh Shah is not against that act. And I say once again, we do not condone it. We're not doing it. We're not promoting it. We're just telling you the history of the situation in the scriptures. And that it was okay because the Lord allowed it because the scriptures did not condemn those actions. Um, but for them that have eyes to see, let them hear. I mean, let them see. And ears to hear, let them hear. Because at the end of the day, we understand that the majority of the people won't understand. All right? And it's fine. But we do not condone these actions. We speak against it. We're not promoting it. We're just telling you what happened. And stop following these damn bozos. So with that, I want to say, oh, praise you. How about some shop? I should have a No one to the elders and team master. We will say, it to you, Akim, that understand, believe, push this word, and risk your freedom in your life to do so. So next one. Until next time, shalom.